welcome you all students in this session we are going to learn about an important algorithm to find the maximum flow from the network using iterative improvement method which is known as four flexen algorithm before entering into the concept let us discuss the problem definition and terminologies first consider a graph which represents a flow network where every edge has a capacity look at the flow network it is a directed graph which has number of vertices connected with the edges with respect to weight which is which is known as capacity also given two vertices source s yes, and sink t in the graph source is the initial point and sink is the terminal point in the given flow network we are going to find out the maximum possible flow from s to t with following constraints in this method we are going to follow these two constraints so to make a live example let us consider the edges as the pipeline and the weight of the edges the capacity of the flow over the pipeline our main objective is to find the maximum flow among the given network here look at the constraint number 1 flow on an edge does not exceed the given capacity of the which means the flow of each edge should not exceed the given capacity look at the constraint number 2 inflow is equal to outflow for every vertex except s and t inflow is nothing but for the vertex b the inflow is from the vertex a and for vertex g e, the inflow is from the vertex b the outflow for vertex c e is to d now let us move on to the terminologies what we should know before entering into this problem first residual graph residual graph it is a graph which indicates additional possible flow if there is such path from source to sink then there is a possibility to add flow when the when we may get the number of possibilities to reach the terminal point then it should be look as residual graph then we move on to the residual capacity residual capacity is nothing but it is original capacity of the edge minus flow look at the graph consider the path a to c c to d and d to f here in this path augmented path you should find the minimum capacity here obviously the minimum capacity is 9 to get the residual capacity you have to do that you have to minus the original capacity with the flow so here original capacity is 11 and the minimum flow is 9 so 11 minus 9 we may get here 2 and c to d we may get 9 minus 9 as 0 and here d to f the residual capacity is 11 minus 9 which is 2 then augmenting path augmenting path can be done in two ways number 1 non full forward edges and non empty backward edges non full forward edges is nothing but when we are traversing through the forward edges the capacity should not exceed so this what non full forward edges non empty backward edges when we are traversing through the backward edges consider the backward edge, edge as a to c and c to b here the backward edges here c to b with a weight of 10 while we are moving with the backward edges it should it should be non empty which is here there must be any weight in the edge let us move on to the algorithm first step start with the initial flow as zero initially we are indicating the flow as zero where there is a augmenting path from source to sink add a two path flow to flow then return the flow so the algorithm may be clear while i am explaining with an example 